planning your holidays it can be hard enough uh, if you're a normal family but if you're a freelance family it gets a little bit trickier so we'll talk about that today So in this video, we'll talk about uh, some thoughts we have about planning our vacations as a freelance family. Uh, but hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is uh, Tom Wood and I run this channel called Sifter Studios, where we do like composing stuff, freelance uh, stuff, and also sometimes talks like this. So once again, I brought my wife uh, this episode and uh, she's gonna talk a little bit about what challenges uh, a freelance lifestyle will do to your uh, holiday planning. The first thing that popped into my head when we are talking about holidays is that we need to be spontaneous around holidays because we never know, like your summers look different each year. So some summers you have a lot of projects going on and some summers it's more quiet. So it's easier to, to plan the holidays yeah. like uh, like this summer. It's maybe, yeah, we need to figure out, we need to talk more about how we're going to plan so we get some time off together. It's busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and also like, yeah, spontaneous, like, like this, like, like this we're trip. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we planned this, we planned this trip uh, five days ago Yeah. and uh, ordered and ordered a rental car. And now we're here and having a great time and also doing some work while we're here, uh, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so uh, we're spontaneous yeah. and that's needed. Of course, and it's not always like the easiest thing or we can be spontaneous, but you have to work even harder before we leave. If you have a few things that you need to finish off, you just need to put a few, a few extra hours. Yeah. In this case, we had to do it that way. Yeah. And so we're kind of looking forward to this, this uh, one day holiday as like a window of uh, of spare time and family time and then the days before that would be just just uh, uh, hustling to get things done So being in charge of your own business, uh, it's really hard to be completely off mm. at any point in time and that goes for holidays as well. So if a client calls me, I'm going to pick up the phone mm, yeah, and uh, if uh, there is anything else happening, uh, mm. I'll just have to deal with it mm. as a business owner mm. and uh, I think we've we've grown more into thinking of my freelance work that way. So family-wise, when we are on holidays, I have learned, like through the years, you get you get more experience about how to be a family and also do freelance, that if I expect you to be there 24-7 all the time when we go away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up being disappointed because we are running like a business here. So you can't like just say bye for like two weeks and then mm. not hear from you. Mm. So I've learned to like, okay, that's how we do holidays that we of course talk about when you're going to work and not going to work mm. but it's 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 good that you it's more like a good thing that you have to do a few things so you keep the business in like a steady keep the business steady when we're also on holidays yeah and i i think also a factor in our holidays is that they tend to be shorter yeah uh, than most uh, people's holidays and that yeah, kind of goes into that, that same point that like this is like one day what 24 this hours is, this is one day that, but, that could uh, be that's a holiday for us yeah. we call it a holiday and we yeah. just like but usually they just go usually they're a bit longer uh, yeah of course but, but we're not taking like three weeks off <laughs> and and then not not uh, turning our phone on um, no, it's not gonna work at all. No, because usually, if we, okay, if we would do that, we could like plan for it. But suddenly, there's a project that ends up on your plate, and we have to redo. And that's yeah. to do redo like three weeks. We've booked a lot that's of stuff that's just expensive. 
expensive. That's very, what very, they called it. Very yeah. expensive. So uh, we tend to do shorter vacations, but try to make them uh, sweet and kind of cram them full of uh, yes. what we what we like to do. Yeah. In our normal weeks, uh, we uh, tend to live a pretty busy lifestyle, uh, and uh, a lot of planning goes into having two kids and uh, dealing with kindergarten and uh, who's picking up, who's uh, uh, delivering, uh, who's picking up groceries, just like a normal family, I guess. Holidays for us uh, has been sort of a reset of our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, actions and, and we kind of get to start over and think through how has the, the, the last months been mm. and do we want to change anything yeah. going forward. So uh, we wrote down a relationship reset, which uh, mm. sounds pretty harsh, uh, but <laughs> sometimes it, it can feel a bit like that. Yeah. You can kind of yeah. get a, a, some breathing room and you can look back. Yeah. And just like, okay, how are we doing? Like, are you are you in a good place? Am I in a good place? Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a, a like a, a freelance family specific thing. It's probably the same for, yeah, for a lot course. of families, but uh, we only have our life experience. <laughs> so we're and like, talking. Of, of course, in everyday life, we, we do this more short, like yeah. we have our short uh, talks like here Definitely. and there when we have time, of course, yeah. because that's important to this have a healthy yeah. home, you know, mm. but uh, in, in the holidays, we get more time to like really dig into something if, if we yeah. if we tend to see that something is off. Look at the so. bigger picture. Yeah. Kind of. Mm. Yeah. And I think a, a big success factor for our vacations and holidays uh, is if we talk about our expectations before the vacation yeah. starts. Mm -hmm. So we kind of know what we're getting into. Yeah. Uh, and that could be different. Mm -hmm. uh, some vacations I'll, I'll be able to be more present than, than others. Also, uh, what we are getting better at mm -hmm. is to lock off some parts mm -hmm. of the day and say that if, we're, if we need to work, we're going to do it yeah. like after the kids gone to bed yeah, that's an, uh, yeah. or I'll get up early in the morning mm. uh, for stuff that I actually need to get done. Mm. Uh, like if a client is calling, I'm not going to say, call me back at 5 a.m. <laughs> <No. laughs> no, but uh, but um, we're trying to uh, make everything yeah. work, I guess. Yeah. And that is also easier for me to, to not get disappointed and not get, oh, are you going to go away now? Okay, we actually talked about this. Yeah, and if if like if two hours from five to seven a.m. is gonna make it so that I'll be present the rest of the day because mm. I don't have to think about what needs to get done, mm. then that's a good thing. Yeah, because it's better that you're actually you're there, you're present yeah. than you're like on your phone. So that's some quick thoughts about uh, what works for us when planning our holidays as a freelance family. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'll be back next week with a new video. Uh, and until then, remember that there's always gold in everyone.